Today I'm going to compare crypto exchanges that have created wealth for myself and many other people. We're going to go through all of them that I link below my video that I use. Let's jump to it. Are you ready? Let's rock. So below my video, we're going to compare, okay, Margex, the great alternative to Bitunix. We're going to talk about Bitunix, some of its problems. We're going to talk about Bingx and Fibit. Okay, I'll also touch on BitGet, and the reason why BitGet is all the way down here, and it's becoming a eventual concern for BingX, okay, is KYC. You know, Kraken went KYC. There's lots of regulations coming to crypto now that we're going mainstream, okay, and KYC means know your customer. It prevents money laundering and all that. I don't really have a problem with it. Okay, I pay all my taxes, I like to be legit, there is no hiding in crypto, it is not the wild west anymore. Some countries will not allow you to attempt to get rich for your own protection. And some of the exchanges do not want to deal with people that live in those countries. So how can you KYC? Well, KYC is an identity thing, okay? Now, a lot of people use VPNs and stuff for security. I use a VPN. I like to set it to Ireland. Okay? You can use any VPN you want. I don't offer a link for it, but it is Computer Security 101. Now, if you're going to use a VPN on your uh, computer, you're going to need one on your phone. I never trade on my phone. This is not Mumbai. Okay, when you want a crypto trade, you're going to sit at your desk or whatever with your laptop. Make sure that you have time. Okay, not going to be rushed. And you're going to trade. Okay, leverage trading can make you wealthy. Okay, I am looking at Lamborghini number six. My car payments through all my Lamborghinis have been the same, believe it or not. Since two, my first one was a 2019 brand new at the time. And since then, okay, my car payment has remained the same, and that is zero. And I wish you zeros, okay, at the end of a big number. So let's get into it, all right? And I'll touch on KYC and how I did it and how easy it is in the beautiful, wonderful island of Palau. And it takes about mm, three weeks. There's no paperwork. It's real. They send you a literal card, like a, like, like a driver's license, but it's not. It's an ID card, and you can use it to go ahead and KYC for some of the difficult exchanges. All of them are trying to comply, I understand. Let's jump into it. First of all, let's talk about withdrawals. That's important. I like fast withdrawals. Instant withdrawals are best. Not all exchanges do that for security reasons. I've traded on everything from BitMEX to all the big ones that you know. I'm going to leave those out. Why will I not talk about uh, the bigger exchanges like the Bybit? First of all, did you know that Bybit and BitGet are the same owners? Yeah, that's true. Let's start with Margex. Okay, I actually have a withdrawal coming from Margex this morning. Okay, uh, let's see, withdrawals, two of them. Yes. Okay, epic withdrawals, Bitcoin, all right? Now these will come to me in roughly, I would say the next one hour at the most, okay? Let's walk through Margex. Margex is like the new alternative to everything. Years ago, we started our Mark Margex, people loved it. And then things changed and you couldn't win anymore. Hold on. I'm actually going to show you something about Margex. I'm going to send over some Ethereum right now. I'm going to send two currencies. Now, years ago, we traded on Margex and hold on, trade. It was great. And then over time, things changed. And I don't know. The prices, the entries weren't fair and everything else. And I left Margex years ago. Well, Margex came back to me and reached out. I need a screenshot of the price. That's the most important tool you can use. 666. Whoa. Look. Now I use... Let's get a screenshot here. Alright. This, this helped me determine direction. So, let's talk about the exchanges. So, Mark X used to get terrible entries and exits and all of that. 
They reached out to me a couple of months ago. There were new owners. Traded on it. Tried it. It's amazing. I've had some of the biggest, most incredible wins money-wise. Okay, look, I just sent a little two deposits because my withdrawals have come through. Okay, and I do, by the way, want a short. But you know what? Let me show you something over here. You got limit price and you put in your limit price down here, right? I'm on a one minute chart. I could be on a three minute if I like. I kind of missed this move, so I'm gonna wait, right? And here you're gonna go to hike in a sheet candles. What's the sign up like? Is there a KYC? There is no KYC. The sign up is a username and a password, okay? Um, my deposit of ETH got there instantly, okay? Now, my withdrawal is a processing, so I wanna make sure I have money here to trade. This has become my favorite exchange. Now, it's simple, okay? They do offer cross. Cross is unlike traditional leverage trading, okay? Let's click it. This is traditional leverage trading. This is the most dangerous tr type of trading called isolated. Because if you place a trade at 100X, your margin of error is so small that you will get liquidated. There's no elasticity, okay? Now, if you switch to, now your only risk is what you put in the trade, all right? Now let's go to USDT to make it simple. You can deposit anything you want and trade anything with what you deposit. Unbelievable. So let's go to USDT. So you see down here, this is your magic number. This is the amount that you're putting in the trade. This number that you put up here may fool you. You may think you're putting in $1,000. No, that's a $10 trade, bro. That's a dangerous dust trade. We've talked about that, okay? What you want to be on is understanding how this works. This is the leveraged amount. It's times 100. Now, when you do a leverage trade like this, you only can lose what you put in the trade, like that $10, for example. I would never waste time with $10. So let's say you put in 100000 that's a thousand dollar trade. All you can lose is your thousand dollars. I have fourteen hundred in my wallet, but there's a good chance I would be liquidated. Okay? Now, by choosing cross, that same trade for one thousand dollars short. Let me see my screenshot. The price was six thirty. Oh, is the price going up or down, guys? It's going down, isn't it? Now on cross, it will use all of the wallet. I could be down well over 100% and all this does is pump and dump. I could survive the wave and come out the other side an absolute winner. This is the BitMEX chart. It's a little complicated to set up. I really use it for time frames, okay? And something that we call the drill down so I can analyze it to these waves and see where they're at, okay? For me right now at this moment, I wouldn't look to short because look, this is a wave. This is the direction of the ocean. Give you a little lesson here. Okay, for everybody, it stays with me. That's the main direction of the ocean. It's only one candle down. Let's look at the waves. Boom. We have strong red army support with a four bar rule. That means that when the next candle comes out, probably in eight minutes, we're going to have another red on the six hour and have direction to short. And then what we'll do is go down to the low time frames and understand that these are just waves that pump and dump. See, we take our direction from here. I'll get back to our review of exchanges in a moment. Okay, and then we go here. The one minute is a little tricky, but here, you wanna jump off the hill. Now we have direction to short. If you're gonna get paid for every bar down, where do you wanna jump from? It only goes up and down. Let's take a picture of the price. Oh, it's not going to let me. My screenshot tool stopped on this page. And if I refresh, it blows up everything. That's why I hate this BitMEX chart now. Watch. Maybe I'll be lucky. Maybe I won't. If it blows up. Ah, it blows up everything. Okay? I don't have time for this right now. All right? But you don't want... I'm, I'll have to fix this later. This is why I stopped using it. Let's get back to... And I, I need to take a quick look over at BCH. They just had their halving. Okay? Okay. Their direction is... They were long, 
They are starting to be overrun on the one hour. They only have one candle so far. They need four. It went up as high as 700, okay, last night, 719. Yeah, after the halving. And now it's near a local bottom. Can't short that right here, but I can take a picture of it now. Yeah, let's get back to where we are. So, I'm going to go through all the exchanges. Margex is simple. It's my number one exchange. Now, a really cool hack with Margex is I just sent over to show you because I don't want it to feel my deposits because I mean my withdrawals because this is a once a day withdrawal. And you come over here, you can change the layout if you want. I never mess with that, but you can go to dark mode. I did, I do not trade on my phone. Again, I am not in Mumbai. All right, let me show you, for example, let's say I wanted to trade with my 50% of my, um, hold on, I to close that. Okay, so let's say I wanted to trade here. Let's say I wanted to put $1,000 in the trade. Watch the slider. $1,000 is risky. Okay, um, we're gonna put, we're not even gonna do this. We're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna do Ethereum. Hide empty balances. Look, I deposited both. There's one Ethereum. What are those worth? Three thousand dollars? Let's use the Ethereum to wait for them to buy the dip, and then we can short Bitcoin Cash. Or you can go long. Looks like everything's breaking down. ETH is getting hit hard because it's useless. You know what? I can use Ethereum to short Ethereum. Come over here. And just find ETH and click on it. Let's take a look at Ethereum. It has not participated in this bull run at all. I will use a half of the ETH to go ahead and mark it short. And my position will look at that fair entry. Now we're going to talk about it. Okay. Now, as green bars here, since I'm on cross, it'll use my whole wallet to prevent liquidation. Okay. Now, let's take a look. I could also use the balance of my ETH to open a second trade for something else if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that right now. Now, this has no liquidation price. This I probably shorted the local bottom, but it has flexibility. Okay, let me move this down. You see how easy it is to take a trade, and they just added that sound. So if you have limit orders in, okay, let's take a look at Ethereum. I probably just shorted the local bottom before the AM pumps. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is not the time to short right now. So I'm going to close that. Market close. Now, here's how you close. Hit max. You want to close fast. Hold on. Can I get into profit? Let's see. Maybe we can. Very, very low fees here. Super easy. Okay. I do want to close this. So I'm going to hit market. Let's hit max. Let's hit confirm. You'll get a fast, speedy close. Okay. Very, very little impact. I'm sure you're figuring that out at home. I could have stayed, maybe I would have won. This is not the time. I will wait for the next pump. So this has unique abilities to go long and short at the same time to trade different currencies. If you just had USDT or on cross and had multiple trades, one of those trades could wipe out your whole wallet. But in essence, I have two wallets here. One cross trade can't wipe out my entire wallet if I have different currencies. That's something to think about. The simplicity, okay? The only thing I don't like, here's the, like, one of the cons of it, is that you have to wait until 8 a.m. the next morning to get your withdrawal. That's it. Other than that, it's awesome, okay? Um, speedy deposits. I mean, like, one confirmation, fair pricing. Okay, I'm going to wait for them to buy the dip. I'm on a one minute here. They need to add a six hour. Okay, I don't really even use this chart, so it doesn't matter as much for me. Okay, hold on. Let me see where we are. Everything is dumping. So, it doesn't matter. What I do is I use a different chart. I'll use leave this on the three minutes so I can see where I am. You can deposit anything you want and trade like I showed you with anything you want. You can buy crypto here. Okay. They have something new called a conversion feature. This is amazing. It is free. Do you understand? I like light mode. I don't know. I got used to it on Margex. It's totally free. You can convert anything to anything. 
for free. That's amazing. I don't use copy trading. I don't do um, I don't do staking or anything. They offer staking. I couldn't resist. Look, I'm up 28%. I took some of this USDT. Okay, 56%. Close. Max. 48%. 41% market. Our USDT value has gone up. Okay, now let's go ahead. I'm going to hit this again. Because um, Ethereum is just terrible. Alright, so I'm going to drop an E down there. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use some of my Ethereum, believe it or not. I don't care if it's a local bottom or top. And I'm going to drop a bombshell on Bitcoin Cash because I like to. Hold on. Bitcoin Cash. Where is that? Bitcoin Cash. I really want to, you know, I really want to slap it now. Here you go. So look, we're up another 22%. Market. Hold on. 21% on the E. Close. Okay, so now look, these were separate wallets, all right? So look, you can see I'm growing here. Let's go back to the Ethereum, all right? 100X, I'm going to go, and Ethereum is just terrible. Half my wallet, a little more on cross leverage, just sell short. It'll pop in right down there. So this is the Morgex Exchange. This is how it works. You can literally build your wallet utilizing different wallets. I may have shorted the local bottom. But it's okay, all right? Small amounts and we got reserves coming on the way. I like, look at the green bars. When, and it's for each wallet on cross. When they fill up, okay, and they turn red, that's when you're in fear of liquidation. You can always send money, okay? And I have money coming into both of these accounts. You can be, let's take a screenshot, up hundreds of percent, I mean down, hundreds of percent and come back. Now, I didn't pay any attention to the rules that I teach people, like don't short the local bottom, let them buy the dip, blah, blah, blah. I just jumped in because I'm crazy like that. And these can stay for a while. It's a very resilient exchange. Let me show you. The other night I had unbelievable results on Margex, okay? Now, look here. Anyone can show you percentage, right? It allows you to show me percentage or dollars. I got both. I did percentage and dollars. This one was a $10,000 trade. This one, $8,000, $10,000. Okay, unbelievable, unbelievable, epic day. Okay, that was all this folder. And what was this? Okay, this was a short BTC. 162%. $12,000. Don't dust trade. Don't try to impress people with high percentage and not real gains. This was 149%, $12,000. Mark X pays out, Mark X rocks. Let's jump for now to the next one on the list. Bing X. This is Bing X. Now, look at that 6666. Anyway, um, Bing X is a great exchange. We started with um, Big Bing X a while ago. After we left um, BitGet, all right? I don't like BitGet as much. It's, I don't even know if I link it down below. Look, the number of beast. So you have all this stuff here. It seems complicated. I'll show you how to set it up. First of all, there's no KYC here, but they're starting to try to push for it. I am verified, okay? If I go to identity, identity verification, I am verified. Okay, successful. Took me five minutes. Now, some countries won't allow you whatever. You know, there's something I listed below called the digital ID from a country called Palau. Okay, let's take a look. Hold on. Look at these desperate fools commenting to people under my comments. Hi, can you send me his future cast numbers, please? This guy, right, is a schmuck. He's hidden. Get out of here. Can you send me his future cast? Get lost. You're not in my group. And the good comments, YouTube hides as spam. Yeah, so let's go ahead and set those people free. There you go. People have absolutely crushed it in my video. Watching my videos, re-watching, listening. Short the bull run. Turn. Yeah. All right, so Bing X is listed below. They're always adding new stuff. They have light mode and dark mode as well, okay? Now, first of all, all of this stuff you don't need. Close that off. 
Now these candles are wrong, okay? You wanna come here and always be on hike in a sheet. Ah, then you control it. Now, what I like about Bing X, there's no KYC right now. Okay, you can withdraw, whatever. Um, date, I, you should use a VPN for security. I don't have a link for one. They have a spot market which will confuse the hell out of you. Okay, a lot of people like Big X, right? That's the spot market. Um, they don't have an instant with, uh, conversion free thing like Margex does. So when we go here to markets, wait, we're gonna go to derivatives, we're gonna go to standard futures. So this is where we trade, okay? Now, there's a link for this below. It is open to every country. They are starting to ask people if they want a KYC. I just blew up my chart. Anyway, now, if you're not in the United States, you will see, you're going to see stocks. Check this out. You can leverage trade Apple, Tesla, if you have a VPN, you'll see this too. Uh, Intel, Palantir, everything. Check this out. Meta, Snap, with leverage. Now, we used to kill them on earnings here, okay? NVIDIA, whatever. So they lowered the leverage. At first, they were letting us 50X, okay? And they kind of put the kibosh on that. And you see now you get 5X or 8X. But this is something that you can only do if you understand the options market in traditional real world. But here on Bing X, you can trade it with crypto in and out with high leverage. I mean, 8X is still high leverage. So that's an advantage. Instant withdrawals, another advantage. I did KYC. If you go down, you should do this too. Hold on, we don't need this anymore. If you go down under my video, okay, down here. So again, we went over Margex and we're doing Bing X now. Next, we're gonna touch on Fibit and then we're gonna go over the Bitunix situation. Here's how you get KYC, okay? I got it. It's a real ID. And you might say, oh, is this a scam, whatever. First of all, usually for you to get like a second ID or something like that for another country, it costs thousands of dollars, right? You want to open an account in Monaco or Switzerland, you better have millions, bro. This, for 250 bucks, any schmuck can get this. It's digital residency, okay? It's the biggest thing. Now, it works, okay? It works. There's actually a drop down on Bybit. And Bing X that says, pull out. It's unbelievable. So I got my card in the mail. And I legitimately KYC'd for Bing X. Now, Bing X is great. A lot of people like it. Some people feel that the spreads are a little much. But, you know, you're trading high leverage. They offer a lot here. If you want variety, look. You can do Game 5 and all the metaverse. Everything. You can get high on, on this right whatever right all different but they are different cryptos so here you have favorites you have all is all the cryptos they offer and they're always adding new meme coins and everything else simple exchange to use uh let's say now this they have different leverage limits like this is only 25x okay it's different for each currency and they do offer Cross margin, very, very important not to get liquidated, cross margin. So let's cover Bitunex next. I just did a withdrawal, let's go to futures. Now, after Bing X started giving a pop-up, okay, that, let's get rid of this. Let's fix our candles. Okay, after Bing X started giving a pop-up like a year ago, whatever it was, if you didn't use the VPN, people got scared. Look at all these stupid time frames. Let's edit these. So people got afraid, whatever. And we wound up, we found Batunix. When we found Batunix, it was a mess. They didn't even have a three-minute chart. They didn't have like in a sheet candles. There was lag. It was all kinds of problems. They fixed everything. Then, recently, a new problem erupted. Okay, where you would close a trade, let's say fees are supposed to be at 100x, 12%. Just like, you know, out of nowhere, let's say 12%. That's about average, right, for 100x. You would close a trade, this just started with a recent update. Now, they don't offer as much, 
It's more streamed down and simplified, but they do have a great variety. And it's been a great exchange for a long time. You can deposit anything, okay? They have, uh, you can convert it over in spot. They have cross margin. People love it. They've made a lot of money on this exchange. They have market, okay, and limit, simple, green for long, red for short. Okay, you want to be on cross leverage like we talked about. And the thing is this, okay, it started being that you would close a trade. Oh, I hate all those sixes. You would close a trade being up 25, 30% and have less money in your wallet. Something was wrong. It wasn't closing trades properly. It just started in the last month. Now, I was told that they have put everything else aside and they're going to work on fixing this. Okay? And they're going to send out, I guess, an email to everybody. But they're fixing it. They're calling it a bug. Okay? It doesn't happen on MarkX. It doesn't happen on BingX. Let's touch on Fibit. Fibit, if any of you remember the days of Napster... Fibit is like Napster. It's simple. Okay, so simple. It's unbelievable. They don't care about anything. They don't care about your who you are, whatever. Uh, just simple. And all you need to sign up is a name, like Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack, don't short the bottom, you stupid dick. And then you need your email and a password. And they have two FA you can set up. They have the best security. I don't know how long it's been running. Okay, I found this. I've been using it maybe two years now. It looks like something we all got rich on in the early days called Bit7. The simplicity is unmatched. Okay, here's your time frames. Up here, I put stars next to the six hour, the one hour. Uh, five minute, three minute, one minute. Okay, now look here. Now, this is interesting because it offers you an instant withdrawal. Instant in Bitcoin, faster than you can even think Bitcoin can move. Customer support is epic, rock solid, best in class. You could actually, let's say you wanted to trade on Margex and have their chart set to three minute. Instead of using a BitMEX chart, you don't even have, look, I'm not even logged in. You don't even have to log in. You can set these time frames and you can do your time frames right here. Let's look at the six hour for Bitcoin. Okay, we have clear direction to short everything. Two red bars, the new eight hour, uh, six hour just came out at 8 a.m. That's clear direction. Let's look at the one hour. Oh my God, we have the singularity to short. So you can either trade on here or use this chart in place of the BitMEX chart and you won't have to go through every time you want to refresh setting this up the way you like it. We're not even using them anymore, so just kick them to the curb, all right? So, here's the top exchanges right now. We are looking at BingX for variety and choice, but you're going to need eventually KYC, at least for now, a condom in the form of a VPN. It's a great exchange. It's the withdrawal. It's great customer service. Easy to use. But Tunex, we're waiting on them to get their act together. I would advise mm, trading on Margex for now. Now, I put in those two dumb shorts without paying attention at the bottom, but look at the resiliency of Margex. Look, I'm up 34% here. I'm down 88% there. 36, 37% on my Bitcoin cash position. ETH will eventually come down too. Now, let's see. Let's come down here. Let's look at the liquidation bars. Now, I've hidden all the empty balances, but you can have all those things at once and use them to trade different things. Look, ETH is doing well. I'm up 39%, right? And it's not using much, but my USDT wallet is down to zero and it was down over 100% at one point. I have two green bars and look, it's coming back. So let's go ahead and market close this one. Close, market. That's my Ethereum trade. Now let's check my Ethereum wallet. Look, remember we started with one ETH and we took a little loss. We actually seen a difference in the wallet. This is something that's a bug here. If I would have closed that here, I would have lost money. So that's why I'm telling you, the ultimate setup now, and if you want to use BingX, you can, but the ultimate setup now, until they fix Bitunex, or maybe forever, is going to be 
using Marg X two tabs, not four monitors, and this for your time frames. Look at Bitcoin. Direction is short. Let's do a drill down. Only look at the last two. Short. Five minute. I don't care. It's over analytical now. I know I have to short, right? So I drop down in a three minute and I find a place to short. Let's look at recent minute look backs. Every time somebody tried to long, they got killed. Direction is clearly short. It only goes up and down. I'll wait for them to buy some dip. Get excited around stock market open in an hour and then we'll eat them alive. Just did a conversion on the Margex exchange for free, no fees. It was epic. I'm going to do one more conversion. I'm going to convert some USDT that I just sent over to Ethereum. So we're going to take $2,000 and we're going to take USDT and we're going to convert it to ETH. Okay, right there. 2000. Watch this. Check this out. Convert, no fees, absolutely free. This is an epic exchange. So let's go through my favorites. My absolute number one to trade on right now. And you can open as many multiple trades as you want. And my ETH trade is coming into a win as I win again. Now, look, I have two Bitcoin cash trades. How is that possible? One is from my ETH deposit and one is from my USDT deposit. Look, see, very, very simple. Now look, we're up 28% here, 27%. Hold on, 20, let's close that, 22, max, confirm. That is a BCH win. Now we have 17%. I have a lot of windows open, 25%. Let's max. Confirm, 21% close. Now let's take a look at that wallet. So here we are, still fluctuating around because I have positions open. Okay, look, I have this open right now. This is that Ethereum trade. Bitcoin Cash had its happening. It is now having its destruction. My ETH has gone up. I can use ETH to open a separate trade. So now I have an ETH short. I want to do another Bitcoin Cash short. This time, I'm going to use my USDT. Okay, oh, not deposit, trade. USDT for Bitcoin Cash. Where is it now? Look, I love this. It only does 50X, but I can start with $2,000. Drop that in the trade right there. Just hit market right there. Okay, boom. Instantly in. Look, you can see it right there. See, I don't want to hover over it. I'll win my ETH trade too. Everything's going to dump, but it's using it from here. Now, I have, you have as many wallets as you want, an Ethereum wallet as well, that I can do whatever I like with, okay? It's amazing, the flexibility. So, my number one is Margex. My number two, using for charts, is going to be Fibit. Okay, this is for using their chart in place of BitMEX. Look how clean and clear it is. This is the new upgrade. 66,000 Bitcoin will not hold. Look at this. It's coming under rapid fire attack right now as we speak. Everything is dumping. So once again, we still like Batunix, but we're going to wait until they fix it. Look, it's not even close to breaking. Whereas over here, we're probably already about to break. It's happening. But look, the problem is the closing. They're fixing it. So for now, it's still on my list. Okay, it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, Margex is my number one, and Fibit, and I do like BingX as well. Those are all the top exchanges that I link down below. Okay, you got to get this credit card. I'm on the waiting list. Everybody's on the waiting list. You got to have Robinhood Gold. A lot of credit cards give you cash back, right? On certain things. They'll give you 1% on everything and 3% at grocery stores and gas stations. You got to pay. This is $60 a year. It's not an annual fee. That's $5 a month it breaks down to for Robinhood Gold. If you have a Robinhood Gold account, even if you don't trade, guess what you're going to get? Better than a CD, you're going to have, aside from the credit card, okay, you can make deposits and earn 5% and have it compound monthly on your savings. And unlike a CD, there's no lock. That's part of the $5 a month Robinhood Gold. Okay? It really pays for itself. They give you a free $1,000 on margin. 
to trade with if you have Robinhood Gold. I don't have a link to sign up for Robinhood, but I got a link to get on the waiting list for this credit card. Why? There's really no fee. It's part of the Robinhood Gold package. If you already have Robinhood Gold, click the link below. Get this. Get on the list. Reserve your spot. I already have. Okay? 3% back on everything. So you take your 3% cash back, right? And instead of withdrawing it, you could put it over in the 5% thing and let it compound and start building some savings from the money you're spending. That's why I put a link for this, okay? And Palau, don't sit on your hands. Get it. Here we go again, another 25%, all right? I, I gotta be fast. I'm not gonna close that. I'm gonna let it run a little. Ah, I take it. What is it, 24, 19, 20? I take that. 20% on BCH, okay? So, look, 666 war. I'm not trading now. I'm gonna let them buy the dip. And this will win later on. So, this has been epic. No matter what, let's just take a look. Okay, I deposited one ETH, okay, to Margex. Hold on. Bitunex, they're fixing their shit. When they get their shit together, they can reach out to me. Okay, and I will show you if you stay till the end. A special private video I sent them. So I am literally up right now. I deposited $10,000, okay, into uh, what we were talking. Okay, here. And I deposited one Ethereum. Okay, my one Ethereum is now 1.59 Ethereum. Okay, so let's just look at that. All right, so. Huh, just in this little sitting, we made real money. I got to get myself some more Bitcoin cash because the party's over for them. So I'll hit it with $2,000 there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am going to look at, okay, the highest price. This is something I like to do in the last one hour on bitcoin cash they had their fork it went up now the party's over wait till bitcoin has its fork it went up as high as 688 so i'm gonna do a limit order here right i'm gonna go down here 666 no 688 and it's morning pump time don't worry about this you've watched me win trades all day 688 was the high in the last hour so limit order at 688 and we're gonna put two thousand dollars to sell short Okay, now that's an order. Look, it's going to be here. I don't usually just 666. I hate that price. Okay, that's probably why I shorted the bottom. The devil made me do it. So let's do best in class. Margex at the current time. And these change as time goes on. And by subscribing and making sure you're getting my notifications. If you're not, YouTube unsubscribe you. Yeah. Unsubscribe yourself. Then subscribe again and click all notifications. Nobody wants you to know what I tell you. Okay. Margex is the number one right now. Bitunex needs to get their act together, but they're okay. I'm not trading on it right now. Big X is epic. Okay, but you're going to have to eventually KYC. And Fibit is very good. Instant withdrawals. I don't leave any money on any exchanges. And if Bitcoin is dumping, you know Bitcoin Cash is going to tank. Everything's going to go down. Welcome to the bull run. Goes up and down. That's all it does, baby. So you can actually set yourself up. By using Fibit as your drill down method. If that happens, hit the auto tune, just like Kanye. You can use this for your drill down. Those in my group know what it means. All the links are below. You can have that paired up side by side with Margex and do your trading, okay? Or Bing X, okay? And then one day in the future, maybe we'll revisit Bitunex, but. They're going to have to send me a lot of hot bitches on their knees blowing me because I really, really don't. Oh, I shouldn't have said that in these times of P. Diddy. got to watch what you say. Um, <laughs> Yo, go get him 50. If anybody knows what I mean, put in the comments. 50 is a funny troll. But yeah, look, their price never has gone below 66. Just dump it on the other exchanges. Something's... Smells like tuna, talking about Diddy and the Diddler, okay? Something smells like tuna here at Tuna Fish. So we're not tuna fishing it because I don't like when it smells like fish. I like it to smell like chicken, taste like nothing. Okay, so best in class right now, I have to say, is Margex, Bing X, Fibit. Use it for your charts. Kick BitMEX out the window. Simplify your life. And everybody, 
Become a Palauian resident. Spending 250 bucks. I did it. What is Palau? Research it yourself. It's a real place. They got hit by, by COVID years ago. Okay, and the tourism got wrecked. It's Jellyfish Lake. I wouldn't swim in that shit. It's like an STD lake. Just warning you. I don't even want to swim anywhere near any of this. But this is Palau. They really aren't a rich country. That's why it's $249. And they don't really know the value of money yet. They've been dealing in seashells and wearing grass skirts. And they have no idea that they should be charging $10,000 for this. There they are on Google Earth. Okay? So what I did for everybody that stayed till the end. Oh, hold on. I got to collect again from, what is this? Bitcoin Cash, 40% market max close. $825. Okay, so ding, ding, ding. All kinds of dings. We'll leave this one in for the high. Is anybody going to buy any Bitcoin Cash today? No? Is it 58? Six fifty nine, six fifty eight. Nobody wants Bitcoin Cash. Short it and piss. Nobody cares. Whoa, whoa! All kinds of things happen. Did you hear all that? Well, here we go again with the Bitcoin Cash. You can add to your trades. Okay, I have that limit order in. If it goes back to its high, it's on cross. I love it. They added that sound because I told them to. All right, that cha ching cha ching. Don't you love it? Okay. Anyway, it goes up and down all the time. You've seen me do this five times, but I'm going to wrap this up. All right, Palau, it's real, it's a place. Get hooked up, not like that, but you know what I mean. And um, if some exchanges ask you for an address in Palau, right, what are they asking you for? I'm not telling you to mislead or lie anybody. I can't tell you that, right? But um, we've got sovereign relations. Okay, it means you could go there and have sex with people. Unless you're Diddy. Okay? It, what, what race are the Palauians? Look, they're Malaysians. Okay, they're Catholics. They, they, must have been, they must have got invaded by Christopher Columbus. Palau, why is Palau so famous? It's not. They're infamous for jellyfish lakes. Holy shit. That'll keep out the authorities and the regulators. Hey, come over. Come swimming with us. <laughs> okay, and... The jellyfish have evolved without stingers. So you know what they are? They're duds. They're blanks. So guess what that means? You can go and pick up the jellyfish and rub them all over your body. And they're blanks. Who would have ever guessed? They have fucking spineless, weak jellyfish fish. So we can all become everything you need to know. You want to go there, okay? Oh, if you need to add, first of all, this is the Holiday Inn, okay? This is the Rock, this is Joey Fish Lake, and that's the yacht, okay? This is Pull Out. Now, if you need an address, if you, you might not need one. They don't ask for one, right? But I do this. Best coffee shop in where? Pull Out? Okay, let's see. TripAdvisor, look at this. Five best places in Pull Out visits places look at this so so if we go here to this donut coffee house i bet you they have an address right and they're asking you for an address and pull out so you just go get an address like this place let's check this out it's so far away my internet refuses to load so far away look at this place okay pull out is real go get yourself an id Trade on the right exchanges. Get rich. Use this in place. Is the morning pump I was expecting. That's why we're pumping. Use this in place of BitMEX. Make your life simple. Two tabs. Don't be the douchebag with two monitors. Links below. And I am exhausted. I don't know if I can swim in the jellyfish lake or not. Someone do some research. Does this mean they don't stink? Research the Palau Jellyfish Lake and tell me about it. Bye.